Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I would say that this is a video response to uh, Diesel Tech Ron. Um, I saw your video about uh, Doug Thorley and their headers for the 22RE and what you did and you spent and all that. Um, this is not mu uh, <clears throat> much of a rebuttal as it is uh, actually solidifying your word. So I thought that I would give you a, um, a uh, my opinion on this. Uh, I will link the videos of Diesel Tech Ron below, of both of them, uh, LC Engineering and um, Doug Thorley videos, both relatively short. This one's gonna be relatively long to explain everything. Um, anyway, let's go to the defects of the actual Doug Thorley uh, header when I first it first arrived. When it first arrived, you can see that that is bent. Uh, that's not perfectly circular like that one. So that would be a defect. Um, you were also right about the gaskets. They are generically punched out. Mine did not work either. Okay, as you can see that these, uh, there's welds that are raised up. There's a raised imprint. Obviously, you can see that they're not really great at boring out their holes. <sighs> um, but um, even with a stock gasket, you're still gonna need some sort of thickness between here, this, this raised amount, and this flange. With this set, they offer a, a crush washer, copper crush washer. I put the copper crush washer behind this bolt on the other side but between the, the the flange and the gasket so that it raised the gasket a little bit right there so it wasn't warping that gasket they offer that crush washer so that should still do it i don't see any warpage or anything and it seems tight hopefully it does seal i haven't checked you see these two passages these were the things i was talking about with the gasket it bridges between these two and then you can get carbon buildup so you want to cut those out you know when I received this in its package, and it's uh, I have the giant Doug Thorley box that it came in, um, it didn't. It said it, it was supposed to come with the nuts that go for the flange. It did not come with those. It came with the bolts that go for the flange, but the list said it, it, it was supposed to come with the nuts for those bolts, but it didn't. Um, I don't know what to say. I have to go buy those bolts now. Uh, yeah, uh, the bolt holes for the air injection ports are um, not metric, they're standard. So for the exhaust manifold, the original one, those are metric. They do not fit this. So I had to go find new bolts. And then actually um, this one, even though it's only reading off of two tubes or two cylinders, um, your air to oxygen mixture for your entire engine should actually be the same throughout all four cylinders or whatever cylinders you're doing um, unless there's maybe an air leak somewhere that could be a possibility but uh, that you're not going to get a significantly different air to fuel mixture in one than the other unless there's a really like I said severe issue so um, it being higher up on the intake or on the exhaust manifold actually allows for more heat it heats it up and so when it, you put your um, uh, O2 sensor downstream too far it's going to cool down you're not going to get the right reading at, uh, at idle because when you're at idle you know obviously it's not as much uh, you'll, you'll get you know it'll read good when you're at uh, full throttle or something like that or high high output but when you're at that idle it's just not going to read correctly and you will not pass smog at idle in california at least so that's why doug thorley with their california has this is 50 state legal california state legal Cal uh, heads um they put their o2 sensor a little bit higher even though it's only on two tubes so it's pretty close pretty close but I mean like it works its way around you don't really get any the LC engineering stud uh, kit that they offer um, just because that makes it a lot more easier to mount um, I basically I bought this header from LC engineering so I would say that you do not go with Doug Thorley headers 
do not go with Doug Thorley headers. Go with the um, LC Engineering headers. Uh, that was I what I went with last time. These were uh, essentially a nightmare. I will tell you that right now. They really were a nightmare because so if you want to buy headers for the 22RE, go for the uh, LC Engineering. I had the street headers. They were wonderful. They worked beautifully. I didn't see. I mean, there was there was slight gains in power, but um, you know. It's to each his own. There's not going to be very much. This is a small motor, so 